Welcome to Tech Confidential. I'm Mary Kathleen Flynn with Behind the Money. I'm talking with Andrew Cleland from Time Warner Investments, and I'd like to talk to you about your investment strategy, especially in the convergence space. Mm -hmm. What kinds of companies are you looking for these days? So we're looking for a range of companies along four dimensions. Online video is clearly important for Time Warner. Mobile is very important. Advanced content companies, so companies that do machinima or mashups, gaming falls into that category. And, uh, and the last one is social networks and virtual worlds. It's another space that we have become more, in, more, uh, uh, more interested in as a, as a category this last year. And what are the opportunities in online video? In other words, what kinds of companies and at what stage do you look mm -hmm. at to invest? So we weigh an equation of strategic return versus financial return for our different companies. So we're, we're always looking for fit with Time Warner divisions, and that's a very important piece of our investment process. So that plays into the stage at which we invest into companies. So whether strategic fit is very, very high, and we just did an investment in a company called ScanScout in the online video space, we're prepared to go much earlier and consequently take more financial risk where the fit is, uh, is still direct but, um, uh, but the company is, is more established, some of the risk has been taken out, then we start to look much more like a traditional venture capital firm. So to take the first part of your question, underneath online video, the areas that are particularly interesting for us, um, advertising is still very important for us. Uh, both contextual and behavioral within video. Uh, we believe that the online video space for advertising is still very, very nascent. We have a lot of work to do in, in, in that area. AOL obviously has a, a set of very important assets there as well as Turner and Time Warner Cable as well. And Warner Brothers, of course, has a vast library. So it's right across our divisions. It's clearly an important area for us. So advertising is very important. I think management of, of video assets is important. Uh, I think that presentation of video assets to the user, especially through the online medium where uh, users can get, uh, instead of, in, instead of a, a broadcast metaphor, which is one way, and, and the video assets get pushed out to the user, they can interact with the assets. And, and our divisions, for the first time, and in, in some instances, can get uh, insight into who those users are, and therefore get much smarter about marketing to those users and presenting content that may be compelling to them is an area that we're very interested in as well. So that's things like friend recommendations, user recommendations, expert recommendations, search, browsing, uh, preference engines. Okay, and in the VC space, who are you competing with? Uh, somebody like Intel Capital or other VC firms? Well, you know the VC space. It's not so much a competition. We work, we're very flexible about who we work with. We certainly work with Intel. We know those guys pretty well. We work with other media strategics such as um, you know, Comcast and Steamboat on occasion. Uh, uh, but we also work with the straight financial guys as well. It's, it's much more collaborative. I think particularly if you're a, a strategic, you build, you bring a, uh, each strategic brings a unique set of assets and, and points of view and, and network to the table. So it's normally a pretty collaborative collaborative conversation rather than competitive one. Are there any particular technologies in the online video space that excite you right now? Yeah, I think, uh, again, to return to the theme of, um, of, uh, of, of, of how to present content to users, I think that that is going to be a long-running theme for many media companies that haven't been solved yet. Uh, so I think, again, returning to preference engines and recommendation engines and how to bundle that with browse and search is an area that no one has really cracked yet, and I think there's a long way to go on that. And I think it's a very interesting set of technologies, probably, that begins to address some of that problem. I think some of the other areas are are, are targeting of video and also um, uh, uh, management of video into user-generated content. So user-generated content under-monetized today. It's very difficult to tell what the content is. Advertisers are understandably very nervous about advertising into that content. A recent investment into ScanScout, I think, begins to uh, uh, is, is is one of the companies starting to address that space. So the uh, smart technology company can understand video assets, break them open, begin to understand context, and give advertisers some sense of comfort, not only that their ads will be targeted to the right users, but that they're going to have some con uh, uh, confidence that the wrong types of content aren't going to show up within those assets. All right, great. Thank you very much, Andrew very Cleland much. from Time Warner Investments, and thank you for watching Tech Confidential and Behind the Money. I'm Mary Kathleen Flynn.